Good morning viewers across Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. Welcome to Book Club Corner where every Wednesday right here in beautiful, amazing Tobago, we chat with local authors about their book, about the literary arts and their love for the written word. And today we have a special treat for you. We have with us virtually, of course, because he isn't living here with us anymore. He's migrated. We have with us the winner of the Bocas Children's Prize. And his name is Garnet Lawrence. Garnet, welcome to Book Club Corner. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Joel. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I am alive and I'm well. Very good. I haven't seen you in quite a while. <laughs> yes, yeah, since our last game meeting. Yes. So you see, this is what it takes, right, for me to actually see you, because we've been having virtual meetings, but no camera, yes. right? So this is what it takes. It takes yes. you to win yes. the Bocas Children oh, Prize God. for me to actually oh, see you. Oh, God. Let me also. Let me also. I'll come into the go to the I can't wait. So let me ask mm -hmm. you. I asked you the other day, but I'm going to ask you on camera now. Mm -hmm. Should I be yes. calling you Mr. Lawrence now? <laughs> Put some respect on the name. <laughs> Janet is fine. Janet is fine. Janet or people call me so Lauren. I have a children and them. So Very you can call good. me Janet. Well, listen, I can't tell you how proud, not just me, right? And you are the secretary of the Tobago Writers Guild, have been for the mm -hmm. past 12 months even though you have migrated yeah. to Barbados from Tobago lately. Mm -hmm. You have done such a fantastic job, so I just want to put in that. But I am so proud. All of your colleagues on the Writers Guild Executive are really proud of you, as well as the membership. I just want to publicly say Thank how you. proud we are and happy for you with this, because, you know, writers don't get a lot of accolades and, you know, thanks, mm -hmm. praise, you did a good job. So when we do... You know, we all mm -hmm. listen. We're over the moon. I know many of the members are doing backflips. Uh, how is your family <laughs> taking this news? Oh, my children are off the wall. My wife, she carried me out for lunch. She was so proud of me. Um, <laughs> they have played such a big part in this whole story and in this whole process. So, and um, they're all over the moon. My son told me the other day, Daddy, whatever I want for Christmas, I'm buying it for you. I know where anybody from. But he was like, I'll buy everything I want for Christmas. Oh, I'm so proud. Yeah. How old is he? Yeah. He's six. He's six. I'm a daughter. I can't you anything for Christmas with, with your money, right? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm a mother. He's a mother. I'm going to talk about that whole story. <laughs> yeah. Got yeah. it. But I, I want also you to must tell say. us. Yeah, I want mm -hmm. you to tell us about. When you got the call, when you found yeah. out that you were the winner, tell us how that transpired. And then walk us through how, why, you, why you decided to submit your book, right? Tell us everything. We want, the, we want all the tea. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the, when we were first shortlisted, um, I got an email saying, short, and I was like, okay, wow. And I saw your books, and I was like, okay, I don't feel kind of bad to beat somebody from Barbados. So let me see what the second prize to beat. I don't want to get put out. Um, so um, what happened was I got a call from where the individual was from Boca Success, and she was like, Mr. Lawrence, hi. Um, you didn't send the email? And I'm like, no, I didn't check the email. Check it now. So I'm like, okay, fine. Um, so welcome to you. Oh, you went up. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, okay. And I said, and she was like, what happened? I was like, I, I, I just won. And she was like, what? And she was like, shh, can't tell anybody yet. You have to wait until you officially say it. But I was like, okay, okay, oh, okay. There are very few times in my life I'm speechless. Um, I got a put in the course, and I was like, okay, 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 all right, okay. Um, <laughs> and the, the book itself, I mean, this is a whole journey, and I can't spill all the tea because it gets stains on the tablecloth. Um, so, let's, this this whole thing has been an emotional roller coaster for me 
the entire process from start to finish. Getting the book, first of all, it wasn't even a book in the first place. It was a public health campaign that was meant to be performed at the various schools across Tobago, and it wasn't bought into for whatever reason. And I said, this idea is too good to, to die, to let the seed die. And I said, okay, what has God given to me? And I said, this idea is here. So I took the book, and I literally just transcribed it from a script into a book format. And I want to thank my wife publicly because the idea of writing a book while unemployed would drive most women kind of mad because if you have two children and you have a wife and you have to, you know, that kind of story, and you have things, you have bills to pay, the last thing you'd want to hear your husband saying is, you know, like how we watch that movie with Tyler Perry, uh, after money, I think it is, where it is that this guy was investing all of his money, and yeah, this idea is going to work. No, can't you remember what happened after that guy? And, but my wife was not one of those women. She supported me 100% through the entire journey. And uh, my mother as well played an integral part in both of them financially supporting this book, getting it done. I was determined that this book must be of an international quality, so I had to find international money, <laughs> which is our one of the of fish all by itself. And then when the book was produced, I said, okay, um, I want that the Caribbean shares in this. And the Book of Lit Fest is a forum to which Caribbean authors are celebrated. So I said, I'm going to enter it here as well as some other places as well. And the idea was, okay, I entered it and I forgot completely about it. And the irony, God is so good. The, what we were preparing for was, right, it's Christmas time coming around. So let's try and get the books into the stores. And we were trying to figure out how we were going to start marketing the book. And then this comes along at the same time, the day that they announced the book. One was the day that we got the books into stores, um, trying to get this one into stores nationwide. So it just has been a complete emotional roller coaster. And I give God thanks. I give my family thanks, my children, my wife, my family, and even my church community and those who would have understood and who would have seen. Because I think from people who would have known me would know that this is almost no surprise based on the work that I've been doing in the past and consistently doing. And I believe that my art form, whether it is film, whether it is for theater, whether it is now in the work of author, being an author, it must speak to the people. It must give them some measure of direction or hope or perspective that is personally beneficial to them so that they can grow and they can make better choices in life. And that's always been my mantra, my mantra, that whatever I say must speak life into the people who read it and who see it and who hear it. So, yeah, yes. that's, that's the I journey. Love, I, I love that. And congrats. I can't say congratulations enough. Right, and Ghana people cheering in the streets. That's that's happening in my imagination. Right, <laughs> <laughs> the streets are just like Ghana, Ghana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally, we're so happy for you, and thank you for yeah. being here with us today on Book Club Corner and sharing. Mm -hmm. I don't want I don't want too much of the tea to be spilled. Rightfully, you said that, mm -hmm. right? Because you're going to be coming mm -hmm. on the twentieth of December back home, right, for for yes. a Tobago Christmas. So when you come yes, back, okay. you know, we, we mm -hmm. spoke, we spoke. When you come back, yes, we're going to grab yes, you, yes. right? We're going to grab yes. you and have you on for, you know, the full half an hour for Book Club Corner. And um, listen, Garnet, I want every, I want the tea, I want the sugar, I want the milk, mm. right? I want, I want the full works. When you come here, we're going to we spill <laughs> everything. Right, because mm -hmm. these book mm -hmm. projects are a work and a labor of love. I want to, you know, yeah. congratulations to your wife as well, because you all have yeah. one as a team. Yes, yeah? yes, it is a whole team. This the story came through the children actually, but I will come when we have an interview because they were literally they heard the story first. They were my first audience. 
the, my daughter could tell the story. She might act the story if you want to. to in fact, she could do this interview for me if she wants to, but I kind of think that she could, um, gave her a little bit more information she needs to give. So I want to make sure we keep it, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, we're so happy for you. I can't tell you enough. Um, and apart from that, the labor of love you've put in you, your team, your family. Um, and I remember mm -hmm. when you submitted that um, excerpt from the book as an article for our Friday Guardian mm -hmm. um, <laughs> article, yeah. right? So you had, we, article, we saw yeah. the quality of your work even before you got here. So yes. thank you, Boca Slit, for acknowledging the high standard of literary work coming out of Tobago one and coming out of Trinidad yes. and Tobago as a whole um, and for honoring yes. our authors, you know, we can't mm -hmm. support them enough. Garnet, we want to thank yes. you for being here with us. You know, we love and support you. It's Christmas time. You all get that book. Mm -hmm. It's and Nancy and the Fire Ants. It's an amazing yes, story. Is. He is a Bocas Children's Prize book winner get that book for christmas it's really cute very easy it will be in tobago available at all the major bookstores and then we'll share with you exactly where you can run and get it right so thank you Garnet, for yes, being please. here with us enjoy Barbados until we see you i shall try yes <laughs> bye bye bye, -bye. Take care. We're going on a quick break, guys. We'll be back soon. I have another special guest with us here today. And you listen, stay tuned. Today is going to be a very special edition of Book Club Corner. And when you come back, I will explain why it's special. So see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm.